experts say it's best to stay inside, but if you have to go out, you better bundle up. And WLWT News 5's Christy Davis continues our winter weather coverage live from Fountain Square. Christy, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mark and Lisa. Obviously, it's a day where layers are your friends. Now, I am dressed like the kid from a Christmas story because I tend to overdo it, but we wanted to find out exactly why it's so important to bundle up and also if it really works. Her jacket would be the colder area comparative to her face. Now, I'm not too shy about being on camera, so we let the Newport Fire Department use me as a guinea pig. Their initial findings using their thermal imaging camera aren't too surprising. The brightest spot, which is where I'm losing the most heat, is actually on my face. It turns out, though, that my gloves, they aren't working that well either because the camera showed I was losing a lot of heat from my hands as well. Now, bundling up to the best of your ability is important because frostbite becomes very real in this weather. It only takes minutes for it to set in. And the resulting nerve damage can last a lifetime. It's going to be anything that's exposed to this type of temperature will, will can get frostbite within minutes because it's so cold out there. Um, and you can end up losing fingers and toes, things of that nature, if you're out for too long. And remember, if you do start to feel any of that numbness or tingling or pain, get inside and warm up slowly. Warming up too quickly can actually cause lasting damage and some other damage to your internal organs. We'll talk more about that tonight on News 5 at 5. Reporting live from downtown, Christy Davis, WLWT News 5.